Good morning and welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. Taking a look at our current surface analysis today, you can see that Debbie is making its way through western Virginia this morning. It's now classified as a post-tropical cyclone. And we're going to be seeing some on and off scattered to isolated showers throughout the afternoon, becoming a bit more likely later in the day and overnight. Uh, as that cold front continues to push the remnants out uh, through our area and looking to see clearing in our area as we approach Saturday morning. And now looking at our current weather, we got several cloud layers out there right now scattered at about 1,800 feet and then broken at 6,500 feet, 10,000 feet, and 25,000 feet. Our wind today is going to be a bit breezy, already gusting up to about 29 knots currently, and actually earlier this morning we saw one gust about 36 knots as we had a, a brief shower move through the area. Temperatures today, uh, we are at 76 degrees right now. Relative humidity is at 95%. Now taking a quick look at our current radar, as you can see we're pretty clear in our area right now. Uh, this was the shower that moved through our area earlier this morning. Uh, we saw some heavier rain and higher wind from that. Uh, you can see some more showers starting to approach uh, the southern portion of the eastern shore this morning uh, and going to be seeing a similar pattern to this throughout the day today where these scattered to isolated showers and thunderstorms move in and around our area. And now looking at our composite reflectivity over the next 24 hours. So you can see over the next couple hours could stay clear uh, depending on how quick those storms are and if they do indeed approach um, our trajectory uh, into wallops. Uh, but as we move into the afternoon uh, and evening hours, you can see the scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, becoming a bit uh, more um, confined to our area. And especially as we move overnight when that front moves through the area, that's uh, probably going to be our most likely chance of seeing some lightning associated with those showers as well. And looking to clear out of the area come about 8 a.m. on Saturday. And now looking at our 24-hour weather risk chart today, uh, got a lot of color on the chart today, so we are going to be seeing pretty active weather day today. Mostly cloudy conditions right now with a slight chance of a passing shower or thunderstorm over the next several hours. As we move into the afternoon and evening time frame, those chances are going to increase. Uh, we're going to be seeing, again, those showers are going to be scattered to isolated in nature, so not going to be expecting to see uh, rain during uh, the entirety of these time frames, um, but a decent chance of seeing, again, these on and off showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon and into the evening hours today. Our winds today, um, as you saw earlier, already gusting up pretty high. I expected to see those gusts continue well into the um, 30s uh, as we move into the afternoon and then starting to decrease as we move into the evening and overnight hours. By Saturday morning, we'll see those winds much lighter, becoming varied at less than five knots. Our temperatures today starting out about 76 degrees. We're going to be seeing a high this afternoon around 83 and a low tonight around 74. And our tides for today are normal. And now looking at the next couple of days, Saturday, this is partly to mostly cloudy, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the vicinity of the area uh, with a high of 86. Saturday night, uh, partly to mostly cloudy, again with just a very slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. And the same goes for Sunday with a high of 82. That's going to conclude our 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We will be back again at 10 a.m. Hope you guys have a great day.